Hi guys, as promised, this is my two weeks follow up video on Windows on a Mac. I've used it for about two weeks now and I definitely got enough experience to give you my final conclusion and a few other things that you maybe want to know if you are planning to do it. So the first thing that I last time already mentioned was the partition. I said you should choose it wisely because you can't choose it afterwards anymore. This wasn't quite true because there are two solutions but both of them are a little bit odd one is free the other is paid though but the free one of course is with a little bit more of effort so the free one what you have to do is clone your windows system with something like clonezilla then delete your partition create a new one and then restore your system this is for free but of course as you maybe heard it is combined with a little bit more effort the one with less effort, but therefore costs for about, I think, I think like 15 or 20 dollars would be Camtune X from Paragon. What it does is allows you just to change the size of the partition. Definitely way easier. I haven't tried one of both yet. I will do one or both because I, for right now, the gigs I have left is okay. But from what I've seen from the research I did, both solutions work quite well and no issues from people that I saw of. The second thing that I wanted to talk about, are there any issues in long-term use? Using it for two weeks, the only issue that I run, run into once was the GPU driver. All of a sudden was smashed out. And of course, then I didn't have no GPU acceleration and so on. I just uninstalled it, reinstalled it, and things were fine since then, nothing. This could maybe happen because the the system is still quite new, Windows 10, and they get new updates and so on. So I'm pretty sure they just updated a little bit of an odd driver. So I don't think this will ever happen again. But because the system is still young, there with updates, there can things happen still. The next thing is the performance. Performance is absolutely top-notch. Still, nothing has changed. The only thing where I notice sometimes a little bit of an odd behavior is, for example, if I use Adobe Premiere to ed edit my videos, then the scrolling within the timeline, not that it was janky or it was slow, but it did some kind of flickering sometimes. It wasn't a smooth, but it seems like I had just 30 frames instead of 60, and there was just some, some black flickering, but that's also not always the case. So I'm not quite sure what that is. Also, the overall performance in Adobe seemed slightly worse. Maybe they have to update the driver still. That's the only minor thing. The rest is absolutely fine. And still, it is totally fine enough for editing still. And for all the other rest, the performance was absolutely top-notch. Easily on par, if not better than on macOS. So I have no issues here. The last thing would be the battery life. I did some testings and I got, and I already told you, I'm not quite sure my, or, or myself how much battery I get on OS X because I never use it for a full cycle. I mostly, when editing, use it on the charger anyways. Same as for Windows. But what I got for values were, at first I got four hours, then I got five, then I two times got close to six and a half to seven hours, five and a half, four and a half, and one time even seven hours and 20. So just from what I see and from my experience with my normal use and so on, I would say it is very, very close, if not maybe even on the same level as on OS X, because like I said, I, I it's hard to track the battery life on Windows. I mean on OS X anyway, so I would say it is totally good enough for me. In normal use, it felt very long battery life. I had no issues. I didn't feel like it would be shorter as it was on OX. So that's where it gets my full okay. Definitely. Maybe battery life can vary from device to device. At least on my MacBook Pro 13 Retina, it seems absolutely fine. And this leads me to my conclusion. Will it be my daily driver OS on the Mac? Yes, absolutely. Because it is my daily driver OS on my desktop, on all the review units. I absolutely love the way Windows 10 behaves. All what I need to do on it works perfectly fine. I can browse with it. I can edit my videos. I can record my audio. I can do pretty much everything else. Okay, I can do also the same on OS X, but the workflow with Windows for me just works better. Also with the trackpad, just with trackpad plus plus. Everything works. I am absolutely happy and I will definitely resize my partition to something bigger. I will still from time to time use OS X for sure, but I'm sure, but I haven't used it for the last two weeks even once, just once, because I had to get something off of the drive, but absolutely happy with it and I will definitely stick with it. 
So this was it. If you have tried it yourself, let me know your experience so far, if your battery life is better or your performance is worse or anything like that. And if you have any questions in the comments down below, until next time, bye. And if you want to leave me a thanks or likes or anything else, you know what to do. Okay, bye.